A plague of unwanted nudity spanning more than a decade in southeast Kent County has apparently come to an end. Police say they've arrested the infamous Cascade Flasher. News 8's Barton Dieters is at the Kent County Jail with the Naked Facts. Kent County investigators tell me they're glad to have this case finally solved. And while this suspect seemed to want attention, he managed to elude police since 2003. It's a sordid story we've been following for nearly two decades. Now this man, 54-year-old Stephen Todd Pastor of Cascade, is in jail after he allegedly confessed to Kent County investigators to crimes going back to 2003. We believe him to be responsible for several dozen uh, indecent exposures over the last almost 20 years. Pastor allegedly had a routine. He kept his shirt and hat on, but was naked from the waist down. He would stand on the decks or porches of homes in and around Cascade, often knocking on the windows to make sure that he had an audience. He would then expose himself and masturbate in front of his shocked onlookers. Part of what we know about this crime is that pe um, part of it is the reaction of the victim. He also did it in front of businesses and even just on the side of the highway. For years, he would disappear without a trace. It was typically an act that didn't have an extended duration to it, so it was typically he was, um, he was sort of out of the area rather quickly and uh, proved to be pretty evasive over the years. But starting in January, he broke his usual routine and started targeting one woman in particular who had cameras on her home, and it was that and linking a vehicle that made the arrest possible. On Wednesday, police caught him peeping in a window in this neighborhood. Then they found him without pants here in the Briar Lane apartment complex. He was arraigned today and, according to court documents, confessed to indecent exposures dating back to the late 1990s. The invasion of privacy uh, that people experience when they're in their home and they feel someone watching them is not lost on us. We take this crime very seriously. The multiple acts means that this man can be charged as a sexually delinquent person. That means he could be held in prison until the state decides he's no longer a threat, even if that takes the rest of his life. At the Kent County Jail, Barton Dieters, News 8.